welcome back to the other episode of Talk with Emma's. I'm Leah and in this podcast, I'm with one of our great participants, Oscar. Hello, Oscar. How's life? Fine as usual. Ah, oh, that's nice to hear that. Oh, uh, yeah. For the audiences who are still questioning about English Massive or Emma's, I'll give you information about us. Emma's is an official English training program provided by Kadiri City Government. This program is free for Kadiri citizens. To get more information about us, you can visit our website at emas.mandidikan.kadirikota.go.id. This podcast is one of the new programs for post-advanced or advanced to participants that focuses on the application of speaking skill. This podcast is released twice in a month on Spotify Talk with Emas or our YouTube channel English Massive Kadiri. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and follow our Instagram account at English Massive, yeah? Okay, without any further ado, let's start this podcast. English Massive Podcast Talk with Emma's Oscar, by the way, can you introduce yourself to our audiences? Okay. Uh, my name is Oscar Sikona Ibni Putiana from spot called MCT5. Mm, some of people call me Oscar and some of people call me Ibnu, Ibnu. But if you don't mind, just call me Oscar. Oh, that's nice. By the way, what grade are you in? Uh, in in school, right? Yeah, Maybe. in school. Eleventh grade. Eleventh grade. Oh, you are eleventh graders. Okay. So, in this millennial era, and we know that the millennial and also Z generation are familiar with the term of multitasking doing more than one activities at the same time and looks like busy every time are the common view in this current era but does it help us to be more productive let's know the opinion from our participant about this trend okay Oscar talking about multitasking and multitask course do you often heard about these terms? Yeah, I often enough to hear. Can you tell us about the detail about maybe uh, what do you know about multitasking or multitasker? Maybe multitasking is like performance to do more than one task or job in one current time. Mm, if multitasker, maybe the people, people who do the uh, performance to do more than one task or job in one current time. Okay, so we can say that the multitasking is the activity and the multitasker is the doer, the person, right? Yep. Ah. Talk about that. Uh, do you have experience, your own experience related to multitasking? Maybe not your own, but maybe the people around you? If about multitasking, I have experience, but only just once. Just once. Uh, can you tell us about that? Mm, actually, it's kind of hard to do multitasking on me because actually I can I cannot focus more than one thing at the same time because it's hard and it takes a lot of effort and maybe uh, it's more technically easy to break my focus when I do multitasking different when I'm do one thing in one time actually I can do focus 100% at my skills so you have told us that you have only one experience related to multitasking yeah. activity okay so can you tell us about the activity that you did oh activity of what I did about yeah about the multitasking activity that you already did oh I did it when I try to learn history with, with physic with physic at the same time. Actually, I can focus which one I must do, which which one I must search the answer, and which one I must finish it. Actually, that's put a lot of effort, and maybe that I can do multitasking, and I just give up and do as usual. Maybe I'll do history first, then I do physical effort. Oh, okay. Ah, that's nice experience. I also have an experience related to multitasking activity. <laughs> Maybe I'm not a, an effective multitasker. Yeah, I have 
at task when I was a postgraduate student so I must read the article and I must create my paper at the same time so I think that is very hectic activity that I have and I can give my focus at that time and so the result of my paper and my reading is not good enough at that time yeah by the way i have read one of the articles that mentioned multitaskers are more susceptible to interference from irrelevant environmental stimuli and from irrelevant representations in memory do you agree about that yeah i agree why maybe if you do some multitasking you easily break focus when you when someone or maybe anything try to break you just like my experience when i do my multitasking anything can make anything can make me lose focus and and maybe make me forget where my work is from compared to when i focus on one thing for example for for example my sister offered me food and after I answered yes or no, I immediately forgot where I had come from doing the task, my model tasking. Okay, so you suddenly forgot about the the part that you have done and which part that you haven't done, like this one. Yeah. Oh, I see. Correct. I see. Yeah, I do agree with with you. I think this statement is. Uh, relate with my own experience too when I do two tasks for example in, at the same time sometimes one of them become the victim of my less in focus okay and this is talk about your opinion in your opinion does multitasking tool help us to be more productive in my opinion I will say yes because you can do one more tasks than one more task in one time and actually that more time you can do in the rest of uh, after you do it then the focus at the one thing actually you will do tasks more faster than the other that's why multitasking are help us to be more productive oh, i'm sorry in this part i have different idea with you i have different opinion because i think um Multitasking talent doesn't help us to be more productive. Why? Because when we do more than one things or more than one task at the same time, it will distract our focus and after that maybe the result will be not in great or in maximum result, I think. That is just my opinion, but it's okay, we have a different different opinion about that, right? And talking about productivity, we we know that our productivity is influenced by some factors. Some factors, I mean. And what are the factors that influence our productivity? In your opinion? In my opinion, maybe I have two. First, of first is people around me who can support me that make me boost my productivity to do something and secondly maybe curiosity mm -hmm. why maybe for me to for me to curious we, I can learn what I can learn new thing or maybe something that can make boost my productivity or maybe the new way to do to do more and maybe to do more effectively at my productivity task okay thank you Oscar and talking about the factors that influence our productivity uh, I have read one of the article in, on the internet that there are more about seven seven factors namely motivation and also the environmental and also one of them is our mood moods yeah when we have good mood so we will be more productive but if we have bad mood yeah our productivity will ruin up yeah will suddenly 
decrease okay so we already talked about multitasking we already talked about productivity now it is the time of vocabulary let's learn some vocabulary and how to use it in a sentence okay for the first vocabulary it's going to you you can uh, tell our audience about what vocabulary that we already learned first first is trend yeah what is trend trend is everything that now been talking watch and do with a lot of people for the current time maybe the example does 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 boost the productivity with multitasking is trend now? Oh, yeah, and the second vocabulary is multitasker, someone who can perform of more than one task at the same time. For example, are you an effective multitasker? And the third vocabulary, multitasking. Uh, Multitasking is performance to do more than one task or job at the same time. The example, multitasking sometimes doesn't help us to push our productivity. Okay, and the next vocabulary is susceptible, likely or liable to be influenced or hurt by a particular thing. For example, multitaskers are more susceptible to interference from irrelevant environmental stimuli and from irrelevant representations in memory and the next stimuli stimuli is a thing or event that evoke a specific functional reaction the example is does irrelevant environmental stimuli give some effect on non-multitasker too and the last vocabulary is irrelevant not connected with or relevant to something. For the example, irrelevant activities will distract us in reaching our goal. Okay, so that's all our podcast today about multitasking and multitasker. So, do you think that being a multitasker will help you to be more productive or it will decrease your productivity? You can give your own opinion in the chat box, yeah? Okay? So, that's all from us. See you next time on the other episode of Talk with Emma. Bye-bye, Oscar. See you next time. See you next time, Miss. Nice to meet you. Bye.